Good afternoon. This is your podcast host, Yolanda George. Swinging by real quick while I'm trying to prepare dinner and deal with my grandchildren who I picked up from daycare, I mean from host early and they're driving me bonkers, but God is still good because I actually enjoy getting my babies and dealing with them. Amen. But I wanted to come by and chat just for a brief second and talk to the people who were raised up as the strong ones. And I know I came before and I, and I talked about taking a strong day off. But I'm I'm here today because it came back to my remembrance. Um, I heard a girl um, saying that she felt like she was the black sheep of the family. She felt like um, she was not loved and didn't get any attention. And she asked her parents and her grandparents, you know, out of all the siblings, why did you guys give them the most attention? And the mom said, well, because you're so strong, I didn't have to worry about you. I knew that you could take care of yourself. And and, and it hit me because I remember those words, um, feeling like I was unloved, feeling unworthy, feeling like no one cared, feeling like I had to be strong, uh, feeling like I had to fend for myself by any means necessary. And I was a loner. Um, I felt alone. I felt like um, I had to do everything on my own. I had to grind. I had to get it. And because of those choices, you know, of feeling the way that I felt, you know, and, and it's a whole nother story that I'll have to get into at another time. But, you know, that's when because of those things, I had to get money the best way I can. So, you know, selling drugs, um, doing private dances and, and, and stripping and, and, and some, so many other things um, to get money. And that was because I was a loner. I had to get it you know, the best way I knew how, um, I was kind of taught to be in the background, taught to be quiet and, and so many other things. And I didn't understand, you know, it's like, gosh, why everybody get the attention, you know, everybody else get to get catered to and tended to. And I couldn't get those things. I had to be strong all the time and it didn't feel good. And so I, I learned how to what I thought was love myself. But I, I really wasn't loving myself. Um, the streets didn't love me, although I thought they did, but they gave me attention. And, and sometimes when the something or someone gives you the attention that you've always wanted or the attention that you thought you wanted, um, you, you lean, of course, towards that. And so uh, being on the, being out there in the streets, living and doing everything I was big and bad enough to do, not thinking about the consequences because I felt loved. Um, I felt like I was loving myself, you know, in the, in the face of people. But the truth be told, you know, late in the midnight hour, you're crying to yourself. Nobody knows it. You know, you, you can't even tell anybody that you call your best friend. Um, and those during those stages of your life, you, because even you want even your best friend, to think that you're strong because you're strong for your best friend and all the people that you be around. So you feel like you really have nobody to talk to. And even those who grew up in church, you know, they say you could have talked to the Lord, but at that time you just didn't even feel like God paid you any attention because, you know, the people that you wanted to pay you attention and the people that should have paid you some attention, they didn't. So you figure, well, I mean, if they don't pay me any attention, God definitely don't. Uh, hear me or God definitely is not studying me. So um, you find yourself living a, a, a riotous, crazy life sometimes. And then as you get older, you learn to be a loner. And then you, for me, for me, um, 
then you have children and you teach them how to be a loner. Now, this is not everybody's story, but I know it's somebody's, um, not directly, but you know, they can relate because some people have children and grow up and treat them the same. Some people grow up and be determined. I'm not going to treat my kids this way, or I'm not going to live this way. And I'm going to do something different. And I'm going to do what I felt that I needed or thought that I needed growing up. So growing up, you shelter your children and then it's just you and that one child or you and your children. And then you've taught them how to be loners. And what you've done is now you've, uh, depended on them for love and they depend on you for love but then the truth of the matter is they have to grow up one day and you know I've seen people say I want to have my own baby so that I can have someone that truly loves me well the, the truth is that child has to grow up one day and then it's hard nevertheless you know um, listening at the young lady say when she asked why was she um, treated that way? Why didn't she ever get any attention? And she said she asked her mom and her grandmother that, and they gave her the same story. You know, girl, you were strong. Uh, we didn't have to worry about you, and it took me back to me. You know, a few family members told me, girl, you didn't need nobody to love you. You were strong. Uh, one thing about it, we knew that you was going to survive. Really? I was surviving because I didn't have a choice. I was surviving because I felt like that was the only way I knew. And just because you feel like you got to give the one that needs all the attention, the one that can't do nothing for itself, et cetera, it, 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 you, you leave the one that you think is the strongest. When the truth be told, sometimes the strongest person is the weakest person. Sometimes the strongest person is the one that need the strength to carry on. And that strong person end up being so messed up, so distraught, so left alone because everybody thought that they had it together. A strong person need a strong person to carry them through as well. And so we grow up all discombobulated until we then go back to the Lord and and the Lord or go to counseling or whatever uh, you decide you, you're going to do to heal. And then the words you hear is, well, I, did, I, I didn't think I needed to give you as much attention because you were so strong. I was strong because I didn't have a choice. So I just wanted to stop by and tell those of you who's e either heard that or wondering you know, why was I treated like that? You may get the answer because you were so strong. I didn't figure you needed any help. I figured you had it all together. And I want to say to the ones that say that to people that I didn't think I needed to give you love. We, 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 we needed love. We, we needed attention. We, we needed more than what you thought because it damaged us in certain ways to see you, someone else get what we felt we needed we wanted attention we wanted uh love we wanted to be held we wanted to you know my if i fall you you strong get up i know i want I, I wanted you to <laughs> rub my leg and put a bandage on me but because of how you looked at me i i did i did jump up and, and pull it together but you didn't know i cried myself to sleep because i was in pain so I stopped by to say, I, I understand. We might not understand it the same way. We might not have even went through it the same way, but I understand. I can relate. <laughs> and so, again, I, I like I said, strong people, take a strong day off. Take a strong day off to cry. Take a strong day off to be weak. Take a strong day off to just not do anything, but bask in who you are. But don't do to your children what was done to you and don't handicap your children because of what you went through don't deprive your children because of what you went through and don't overdo giving them what you felt you missed have balance get some counseling talk it out 
don't mean that you're less than or you oh my gosh you're weak you're mental yeah you know what we all got some mental stuff going on that don't make none of us crazy so um again yolanda george coming at you just want to swing by and talk to you and say even the strong needed some love or need some love so get you some counseling you can reach out to me you can go to my website www.youllovercome.com which is www.yollovercome.com i hope this was good for you pass it on you can even comment Love you. Talk to you guys later. Be blessed.